watching the news, which is why I used to not watch it, because there's so much behavioral modification, aggressiveness in New York City. Um, not the paid for service, although behavioral modification, I'm not sure. The one gentleman, and again, I don't want to get like involved in other people's investigations, so I'm not touching that with a ten foot pole, but. I, I am going to make a medical note for myself based on how my anatomy physiology is not feeling well inside the physical physiology um, is modified in a deformative way, which is unacceptable. Metabolism's been hit in like a cyborg attack or a However, that's working along with the beating of the heart and the ability to breathe and then the inner mechanic, rhythmic mechanic of the blood pipes in a pulsative fashion. Sensation has ceased at each of the fingertips of the phalanges uh, distal region. But anyhow, um, talking back about New York City, the psychology of New York City at the moment as a city, um, there is a lot that comes on the television. Um, there's back-to-back -back stories that someone is alerting someone um, in larger theater. There was a man last week let out of some jail facility who was a known serial killer and then attacked a woman, dismembered her, left pieces of her all over the city, and then they showed later on, like days later, caught on camera, she, he, he was sitting in her motorized scooter going shopping, but sitting on her leg her dismembered leg in a shopping bag and he went into the store on her leg on the motorized scooter and started talking to other shoppers. I'm like, again, I don't know if these are signals or signs from tracking and whatever at like big area security for some other purpose that I don't question because there are professionals somewhere but these behavioral modifications to send signals and whatnot I don't know if they're being read properly I'm just saying not that I don't want to like question like the big people but like I'm seeing what's arriving in New York and I'm like there was another man uh, who, uh, the Museum of Modern Art, he went in, he was, he went over the counter and tried to stab some of the employees. He had an interesting message on social media that he used. Um, he said something about, you want to say something and someone tries shushing you while you're trying to laugh at a comedy. I don't know if that was like a Dante Algieri Divine comedy, because there is benediction at some point. Um, then the reporter, when reporting on this rampage, I'm sorry, on this MoMA, M-O-M-A situation that this man was involved in, first he reported, he referred to himself as bipolar. Again, I don't know. Or again, I don't know if that's like the big behavioral modification specialists at like big engineering and pharmaceuticals, or if we're talking like one of the dirtbag foreign nationals that are here that are poisoning people selectively and withholding much-needed care from others selectively based on whatever, like, behavioral modification, like, by computer elsewhere, is able to do. 
Um, so anyway, so the guy in Midtown, as he's reporting on this stabbing, he used a key op words, what I call it, rampage I had never heard before. I'm like, rampage? I'm like, yep, yeah, that's big pharma. I was like, that R-A-M-P-A-G-E. I'm like, that's not little guy, that's... That's big operations right there. But again, this goes back to track signaling and stuff. I mean, like, how do you know? Like, who's involved in what? I mean... Then there was another one. Um, there was a woman just coming home with her little shopping cart. Um... And she went to get her keys out to get in the door, and some guy came in the door behind her and just... They said that he punched her, like, a hundred times. I'm like, oh, my God. And he was... He called her a racial slur and all this other stuff, but it was the same... looking family of genetics, but he was calling her racial slurs and stuff. I don't know. Again... I don't know how much of city movement is asked for someone, someone asks for someone to do these things, or how much is actually, like, engineered changes and modifications to behavior. Um, currently, the psychology of New York City does not work, not by any stretch, not by funding, not by societal means, not by reach, not by what thinks it's running the city. Um, meanwhile, there's always the Oz, uh, be what's behind the curtain that can make a change in your life like that. Um, your command, your whatever. So I'm just watching this in complete, this, it's complete dysfunction. And I'm just like, now I remember why I don't watch the news. It's a lot of little hyper-local stuff that I don't want to get caught up in. And it's, like, I don't know whose responsibility. But um, it is a big mess, that's for sure. Um, then there's a different um, thing which actually I am going to pull up. Today's Chotzi's last day. They Well, Yahtzee, I call him Yahtzee. But it's because it's dicey in the city, and I don't know why he's here. But And I also don't know why they're making such a big deal out of him. They're, like, like celebrating his last day and putting him in a car. It's like he was in charge of the bioterrorist unit as they poison and kill people in New York City, and, like, one of the head researchers, why are you all celebrating him so badly? Like, I I really don't get humans. Oh, and then they're putting in some kind of anti-crime thing on some constitution. I don't know what that means. I mean, I'm looking at my papers in the American Re Revolutionary War and in the whatever of the teachings of the North Americans or the U.S. I have never been handed a constitution to study. Um, I know that they've always drilled it into us along with the flag that one exists and the first one is free speech. Kind of like an all-you-can-eat buffet. Um, just not quite sure how that works works in like real logistics of things so I try to use my speech sparingly um and to be poignant um I really don't like speaking and using free speech and speaking to other humans I really don't find it a function worth whatever they don't know what to do with their free speech anyway um so that happened, but they have this new anti-crime task force going out, which will be enforcing constitutional something, which again, which constitution? Because is it a New York State constitution? Is it a United States constitution? Is it, is, 
there a federal constitution? I don't know. And again, these are the things. I sat captive in front of their flag, the North American flag, the United States flag, home team, waiting for answers as a kid. I spent so many years just every day waiting, like, oh my God, today's another day. It could be. They teach us something to save us for the rest of our lives so we can participate properly. And every day the teachers would show up and... No words from the teachers. And it's just steadily gotten worse. So that gets confusing, because where do you go to find those words to know how to act and behave and protect yourself and the generation that follows you like little ducklings? I mean, I'm the mama duck, and I got little ducklings that follow me. I got four of them myself, personally. And I'm looking around going, yeah, the people I arrived to were broken. I, I'm not doing well, but I just function differently because I don't trust any of you and I just ask a lot of questions. But I'm trying to figure out who the answer people are. Um, I just, I found one on the street today. He walked right past us. He looked like a sign of hope. He looked like a sign that someone in the family sent me a sign that says we still exist. And we're doing whatever we got to do wherever we are. So that was a sign of like, somebody still loves me somewhere in the world. He was, I mean, I hate to say it, like this word, like a feast for the eyes. Only because there were so many eyesores around here. But he was dressed in respectables. It's just, it was not hard walking past him because he was so nice to look at. Which you can't fault me for because there's so much ugly on the streets in New York. Um... I'm going to pause this for a sec. All right, I forgot all the headlines. And then there's some guy who's walking around. They said that they tracked him from D.C. and now he's in New York. He's shooting homeless people on the street. Some use the word murder. Some use the word assassination. I... I've heard both words or terms used. I don't pass judgment because there's so much stuff, so many visitors that made themselves permanent residents. It's so hard to, I don't know. And then it's like, I'm not in the best, you know, I mean, who's homeless? Um... <sighs> Then it goes back to, like, are they without the Lord? Like, the warlord, the drug lord, the landlord, the overlord. I mean, like, how many lords do you need to clean up a city? Because they should all be combined into one person. And currently my city doesn't have the right representative. It doesn't look like in the front facing position, but he might be there just as a puppet. I don't know. Oh, uh, and I don't know who put him there. So let's see. All right, so they got that going on right now. But again, all of a sudden they don't normally say the word assassination on the nightly news, so I was like, my ears perked up, I was like, huh? Like, okay? That's like a two fur differential, that's, I don't know. Now I'm not showing the crime itself, however, I am going to just make mention on the nightly news. What I find interesting is, I mean, if you put on your baseball cap of, like, I'm going to pretend to be a police officer and think like a police officer, everyone in the city could be a potential criminal or could be a potential suspect, and they've got work to do, and view something that way. And then you've got to put on your baseball cap of, nope, I'm just an innocent walking around I really don't expect anything, like, flagrant or, like, crazy to happen when I'm out and about with my family. Uh, I hear it happens, just usually, like, 
people or that I've encountered, they always think it happens to someone else, never to them. So then it's kind of like you listen to the neighbors being interviewed and the neighbors are like, like as if it was like the first incident that ever happened in forever. Um, so that's an interesting human dynamic because whatever and whatever, whatever. No, this is weird because I see this. Well, I don't normally watch a stock exchange and I don't watch the numbers because I, I mean, it's nursery school, but here. ETF and it says American Century Investments. I just thought that was interesting. And then I'm looking at the crowd. I don't know why they put that up today. It's Channel 7 News. Now this is interesting. Two local campaign ads for political purpose. Um, it's Tom Swazi and the Honorable Governor Hochul, uh, who's currently already in, but I had never heard of or seen of before, um, for the political commercials of who these people are. Um, sometimes when they give you a voice, they'll put them on and say a little something about their career or who backed them. Um, and then you have these other people that are around the city, like these made up titles like assembly and Congress people. I don't understand how you have a system that only the secret immigrants who are here trying to stay illegally know and keep their process and the people who were already here out of that process. So there's not like an active participation. It's just some made up system that some of the bioterrorists that are aiding and abetting themselves with outside help are here functioning within. Of actors who saved the show. And the new hits in the spotlight. Broadway Backstage Spring Preview, Saturday at 7 on Channel 7. Gun violence keeps robbing more lives. Yet in Congress, Governor Hochul caved to the NRA, voting to weaken gun laws. One of the few Democrats to receive the NRA endorsement. Now she's refusing to take a stand against bail reform, turning violent criminals loose. As a common sense governor, Tom Suozzi will give judges and police the power to protect communities from crime while tackling the inequality that helps cause it. We need a governor who stands up, not stands by. Governor Hochul refuses to act. I will. Paid for by Swazi for New York. So, I'm not endorsing either of those people necessarily, because I know nothing about what they've promised and to whom and what, however, that little piece of TV display gets. But the great thing is... I have two area correct characters trying to get into a voiced megaphone, like a stegophone megaphone and like a whatever, to hopefully get to speak to the amphitheater and make sure that safety and neat and tidy and making sure like some of like the tribe doesn't go missing based on what other characters are working on in other projects and whatever, however that works in interactions and oversight. And again, I just want to make sure Governor Hochul's kept into this conversation with what's going on this far downstate. But um, again, I want to just catch the part of the constitutional policing because I don't know if she has contacts in Canada. But that word constitutional is really frightening for me because I don't know how many constitutions there are floating around if they're all working off the same one. But in my life frame, whoever was in charge of educating the children before I got here with that flag system of the red, white, and blue and the stars that Washington, D.C. goes off of and the 48 states... 
um, below, just below Canada geographically. I just want to make sure. I mean, is there unity in that at the moment? Um, of, a, of Mayor Adams' crime fighting plan, 168 officers make up the first wave with around 300 more to be added after they've completed training on things such as de-escalation and constitutional policing. Mayor Adams ordering City Hall to be... So that's during this corona pandemic. They're announcing constitutional policing. Um, they, at one point, were going off of something called a penal code, which I'm not quite sure what that means, or penal law system, not sure what that means either. Now, this is interesting. Yahtzee Chatsi's going out. I don't know if they're doing that, so it makes like a big thing for the news to say who's going to be replacing him. Again, more faces that don't look family friendly as far as the rock wall and the paper and the scissors are concerned. <laughs> young daughter on his shoulders, Dr. Chachi walked out of the Department of Health in Long Island City this afternoon to music and applause from his staff. He thanked them before getting into a car and driving away. Dr. Ashwin Vassen takes over as commissioner after previously serving as Mayor Adams' senior advisor. Now, one thing is they don't have the spelling of his name here, just sounds, and I don't know who this guy is. How do you have people appointed to the city and running some function inside the city? But he's, I mean, again, does President Joe Biden know who this guy is? I mean, is there anything rock, paper, scissors correct that is functioning within New York City? I'm not quite sure. I've been locked out. I don't know how to participate properly, and I don't know who put the people claiming to be in charge in charge. That's confusing. For public health. A Queens councilman wants $1 billion from the city's budget to go into... Now, he's supposedly a councilman. How do these councilmen get in? What are they responsible for? How do you, I mean, like, is it an appointed position? Is it, is there a petition position? Who are you petitioning and asking? Who's the ultimate authority on saying yes or no? I mean, again, why are there residency allowances going on that it would even need to ask for this Congress position? I mean, how... Is this, I mean, it is so dysfunctional on a fundamental, like, basic communication level of words, positions, what's allowed to be qualified, what's not. And I mean, I don't know, where's that big brother when you need him that looks like he's just your brother to another mother, but the mother looks like your mother, you know, or something along those lines. Because this, I know, doesn't qualify. And here's what he's talking about. Point plan. The plan includes 1% of the budget to be put in planting 1 million more trees to create a parks construction authority and provide better access to the waterfronts. But we need to be investing in our playgrounds right now in every zip code and doing that on a five-year plan to make that happen. When you fund public parks, you are funding mental health and wellness. When you fund parks, you are funding environmental sustainability and helping to mitigate climate change. Are you really funding mental health and wellness? Again, I don't know. Are they talking behavioral modification engineering? Or are they talking about the receiving antennas that are in a dysfunctional system and somewhere along the line, transportation is sending all the wrong tracks and signals to all the wrong areas for all the wrong reasons? Uh, the proposals will come up during a budget hearing held next week. 
Still to come on Eyewitness News, first at four, street vendors camped out outside Governor Hochul's New York City office, the change they hope to make. Pfizer with new data today saying a fourth... Now this is interesting. Shannon, thank you for keeping us updated. Uh, happening right now, dozens of protesters camped out outside New York Governor Kathy Hochul's office in Midtown Manhattan, all of them calling for changes to the state's street vendor laws. And these protesters say they plan to stay outside our office throughout the night. Eyewitnesses reporter Stefan Kim, live in Midtown. Street vendors. See, here's the thing. The people that don't belong, that someone said they could now belong, without authority by anybody who realistically is gives a shit or is planning about the city, um, the people that have to go through day-to-day, -day, like the action figures inside of these cesspool and colostomy bag projects that everything everybody thinks it's so funny to just add as much shit as possible and just shake it all up and then just like forget and like pretend like they didn't have anything to do with it right so that's the kind of look that 1978 i arrived to it's steadily gotten worse through 2022 um there's like nobody wants to take responsibility for the shit that they said yes to or they didn't say no to or they didn't correct before it became a larger problem. And so now there's people here that are asking for things that were set up one way and they want all this change. Problem is every time you change something, it changes larger schematic because there's like a chain event and a chain effect and nothing is working in synchronicity at all. With the very latest, Stefan. David and Sandra talk about a straight fight. Straight vendors say they are fighting for their survival. Dozens of them are staging a 24-hour sleep-in in front of the governor's midtown office trying to get their attention. She doesn't even speak the native tongue. This nation only speaks English. That's it. Just speaks English. But there's a whole lot of does not speak any English that's coming in and just making themselves at home. I mean, I don't understand where's the line of like we're not just some like I don't I mean is there any sense of morality and like I mean it's just it it's really it's getting very confusing looking around and seeing just so much diversity that's caused adversity in something that used to be universally simple to explain and live amongst Small complaints used to be the way it went. Now it's like everywhere I look, it's just like. What was, what was the most uh, disturbing was that that day my daughter was with me, my four year old daughter was with me. And, you know, we, that's the kind of um, experience that you just never forget. Uh, to this day, 11 years later, um, she still remembers that she asks me uh, to stop working um, at, in, as a street vendor. Maria Lopez says about a decade ago in the Bronx, she was detained and issued a summons for selling frozen treats and fruits without a permit. And to this day, she says she's living in fear. She's still living here? I mean, like, does anybody work at NYPD or, like... I don't know, custom and border patrol and like control. I mean, what, NYPD, you wrote her a summons. It was too hard to pick up the phone and go, yeah, border control, I got one of yours. Yep, no, doesn't belong to us. Doesn't match the currency that we're accepting according to the rock wall. I mean... <laughs> She's one of dozens of vendors staging a... She's one of dozens. So it's not like just adopt one person. Because in like large socioeconomic projects, you're, it's like, okay, so one here, right? It's just like 
And then all of a sudden it adds up to like this giant problem. And I mean, how does anyone ever survive this? A 24 hour sleep in in front of Governor Hochul's Midtown office, asking her to lift the cap on licenses, which they say not only leads to a black market, but also summonses and fines they cannot afford to. Why is there even a black market allowed? Border control. Yeah, it's one of yours. We don't allow black markets to prop up. No counterfeits, no black markets. Right. Yeah, well, I don't know. Once you pick them up, I don't know what you do with them. But as long as they don't make it back, I'm good. What to pay? A thousand dollar fine, which can be an entire week's worth of sales. New York City placed caps on the numbers of permits and licenses back in the 70s and 80s. Until today. In the 70s and 80s. Ah, <sighs> it gets worse. Just wait for it. In 2022, street vendors are still dealing with the same system. A system that treats them as criminals. Because they are. Border control, I don't know, they took away the cord on the phone. I got a universal remote here. They've been here for a couple of decades just waiting. Is there, I mean, a line to, like, the reality that knows that you don't let these things fester? And you definitely don't give them telephone services because then they start calling over other people. Free stuff! And they'll employ you? Oh my god, there's a system? <gasps> it's a big problem, and it's getting worse. A system that puts them in jail. 20,000 plus. Hello. Guy with a microphone. You break on somebody's property. They don't want you. They weren't expecting you. It's called a crime. And it should be punishable. And however the big leagues do it in... I don't know. Anybody got Putin's number? I mean, he seems to know how to take care of things. I'm just saying. Vendors in this city who are working day and night to feed their families. All they're asking for are permits. So th they're just trying to work for their families. Well, why the hell are they here? Why was there no preparation for them? Oh, because they're here illegally? Oh, my God. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Where's Border and Customs Patrol? And then, look, he hides behind whatever this is. March comes in like a lion and goes out like it's on the lamb. I mean, it goes out like a lamb. How does it go out like a light? Just curious. Legalize their work so that they are not victimized by the underground market. Why should they have to pay $25,000 for a permit? They shouldn't. They should not be here. And I'm just wondering how to intercept all of the criminal activity in New York. Is this going to work? that the city sells for $200 for two years. The bill they're lobbying the governor to sign would also remove the NYPD from vendor enforcement. A spokesperson for the governor saying, Governor Hochul's executive budget includes bold initiatives to embrace this once-in-a-generation opportunity to invest in our future. And we look forward to continuing to... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, let me get this straight. This is Jim Urso, Deputy Director. And this is his seal. So, Jim, uh, let's just have a real quick conversation, me and you, because I'm 43, I've been here the whole time, and New York State has not properly prepared for my appearance here as, and whatever, first come, first serve. So now, I want a job, I want to be an active participant, I want to make my country proud, I want to make my state proud, I want to make my parents proud. I want to fix the brokenness. 
how are you fitting them into the schedule and the budget ahead of me? I'm just curious. Why are they becoming such a priority and I am just getting tossed aside like a couch potato that doesn't mean anything to you and your politically elected agenda? One of the options makes the job a lot easier and smoother. And then, like, things get easier the more we do in the correct direction for a while. Um, the other one looks like more of the same old, which is what's been breaking in some dysphoria that everybody seems to collectively agree that colostomy is the way to go. I'm just saying there's another way. We don't all have to swim in the same shit. We can start to get, like, make our way to, like, a new bagging system. And we could actually have a nice place in, like, I don't know, a few decades, or a decade, but I mean, I don't know. It doesn't seem like anything around here except breaking works fast. I'm going to work with the legislature to finalize a budget that serves all New Yorkers. Now, meanwhile, after this leap in, this group plans to kick off a march up to Albany. Reporting live in Midtown, Stefan and Kim, Channel 7. News. Thank you, Stefan. Pfizer CEO says the company is moving closer to a vaccine for children under five. He says the trial for the three oh, dose vaccines. Now, here's a quick question. I know that myself and this gentleman are not genetically, we're not genetically related. We're not even in the same, whatever. We're like the orchards or whatever. But, um, He's a lot closer to whatever I am than the other guy that's replacing the Yahtzee Chotzi. So now I'm just curious, how did something that doesn't even look relatable to the Rockwall children, the founding fathers, the paper profile of the actual monetary system, which is one of the most important parts of the United States dollhouse. Um, just curious for national security wise, why and how in New York City is there someone who is so drastically different than what I look like being put in? Because him and I don't share the same blood, for sure. Like not even close, not in the same data bank. So why is his whatever being put in a position of public health to then render some opinion, to then force some other agenda, to then make himself seem like in public standing they're so important. Just curious how that could even be a possibility amongst humanity at this day and age with the things that people know somewhere in an intelligence community. I know there's no intelligence here. I get that. But I know there's an intelligence community somewhere that knows something. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken. And it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.